Friday was the opening night of the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Some embraced the change. So I can't wait for the season to kick off. Others resisted it. It's not going to be a nice, quiet kind of area anymore. This is a really ugly monstrosity. I need to see how it's going to affect the area before I start considering actually like stepping foot in there to see a Absolutely, show. Yes. We spent the night tracking how the neighborhood's businesses and residents were impacted by the arrival of the 19,000 new visitors. First, the traffic. We predicted that traffic would get worse than it has. To check, we took a cab from the Brooklyn side of the Manhattan Bridge to the Barclays Center before and after it opened. At 7.30 on the Friday night before it opened, the one-mile drive took 4 minutes and 53 seconds. On opening night, 11 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, the Bar Lake Center has helped me a lot because the people that's going in there, when they come out, they come and support me. I'm going to come out here every day as long as I can make me some money. Local businesses were hoping to get a boost from the new crowds. How's business tonight? Yeah, a lot of people, but no uh, lot of business. Bark, a gourmet hot dog restaurant nearby, saw a little bump on Friday night. It like clockwork, right as soon as the concert came out, we had a, a nice decent rush, which we don't normally get at the end of the night. Compared to the Friday before, it sold 10 more hot dogs on opening night. But the next day, it had a bigger jump in sales compared to the Saturday before. And the bars along 4th Avenue, a few blocks from the arena, didn't see much of a change in the crowds. But at the sporting goods store Models, right across the street from Barclays, they prepared for the crowds by adding to their staff. We just uh, increased our staffing level twofold. We were in the 20s and now we're in the 40s, we're still looking to hire some more. They wouldn't reveal the exact numbers, but they were crowded. And they told us they sold out of several Brooklyn t-shirts, like this one. I think it's history great. is going down in the making yeah. tonight. Jay-Z is from Brooklyn, he's from Marcy, from Best and I feel that he's going to bring a whole lot here tonight. And one of the biggest concerns for local residents was the likely increase in noise. In the Barclays Center zip code, 11217, there was a rise in noise complaints. From Friday to Sunday, there were three times as many noise complaints on the opening weekend than the weekend before. And overcrowding was expected at the Atlantic Avenue Barclays Center subway stop. And right after the concert, a backup happened when 1,183 passengers entered this subway entrance in six minutes. The Barclays Center may still be an unwelcome neighbor to some, but like it or not, it's here. The stadium is awesome. It looks crazy inside. The food tastes delicious. I don't think I'm ever going back to the garden right now, unless the Knicks make it to the playoffs. Gotcha.